Pancreatic enzymes are uh, medications that we give to a patient to basically supplement or re to replace what the pancreas is no longer doing. In times of um, pancreatic cancer, when there's a tumor present within the pancreatic bed, what happens is the pancreas is no longer able to secrete the digestive enzymes. And if you've gone through a surgery and you've removed that part of the pancreas, again, you may have a lack of function for the enzyme secretion. So what that means is that when a patient eats, the normal part of digestion is that when you eat, your body secretes digestive enzymes that will uh, help you break down your nutrients and then help you absorb those nutrients. If that's not happening, either due to the tumor being present or because part of the pancreas is removed, what will happen is that you don't have that digestive capability. When we see a patient that has pancreatic exocrine insufficiency, which is the big long term that we use to classify this problem, what we'll notice is that the patient oftentimes will complain of a lot of bloating after they eat, they'll have a lot of gas, they'll a lot of times have stool pattern changes and it's a little bit looser, a funny color, and a different smell as well. When we look at their laboratory values, we'll usually see a protein deficiency and some uh, vitamin deficiencies such as vitamin D. So it's very important to actually to replace what the body is no longer able to do. So just like somebody that has insulin for diabetes, it's the same kind of idea that we're replacing what the body is no longer able to do. Pancreatic enzymes are a prescription, and it's something that the patient uh, needs to take right along with their meals. There are three different pancreatic enzymes that are available in the United States, and those are, like I said, a prescription that is given to you by the physician. The enzymes are something that needs to be titrated to the amount of food that you eat. They're really based on the fat content of the meal and a little bit with the protein as well. So if you were eating something that was a low fat, like an apple for example, you wouldn't need to take an enzyme with that. But if you're eating a full meal and it's mixed food, say a plate of spaghetti for example, then you really would want to take the enzymes if you needed them.